Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a haul video. I haven't done one of these in so long it feels like, but I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. A lot of this is clearance items, so this is like hit or miss at every store. Um, from the title of this video you can probably tell I went to Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, and Joann's because those are my three local craft stores. So this was my favorite deal. This is the reason I went up there actually, is because Joann's has been clearancing out the uh, Project Life albums from last season, I guess you would call it. They didn't have any of those left, but I found these Teresa Collins We Are Memory Keepers combo ones. And it, they're marked $5 and they're clear plastic, which doesn't bother me that much. I like the like patterns on the Project Life ones, but what can you do? So again, these are 12 by 12 D-ring albums, plastic, pretty heavy du duty plastic. It doesn't feel like there's like a cover on them like that you can peel off, so maybe there is. But mine were marked $4.97 and so I scanned them before I went up to the register because my store has um, scanners on some of their aisles and these rang up for $3. $3 for a scrapbook album and there's even pocket pages inside. So I get two of this design with the vertical 4x6 and then four of the landscape 4x6 and then the rest are 3x4s. So these are We Are Memory Keeper um, pocket page protectors, but I did check to see if the Project Life ones would fit and they did. So that's great news. So I bought the all that they had, which was three of them, because I actually just filled up all of my albums. And my mom told me to get them because it's almost my birthday. So I got these, and she's going to pay me back because they're three dollars. These are like the albums made easy uh, brand. So I got three of these. I don't have to show you them because they're all white and clear. And then also at Joann's. Oh wait. We'll hop back to Joann's after because I put everything else on top of the things from Joann's. So we'll hop to AC Moore real quick. I just picked up some of these um, Fiskars trimmer blades because they are on 40% off and I needed them for my trimmer and I couldn't find my other ones so I should have found those but that's okay. Next is Hobby Lobby. So I'll start off with my cheapest item. So I got one of these Iris almost 5x7 cases, so this is for the 4x6 photos, and they're originally $2.50, this was $0.84, cents, and it's because it's broken. The um, latch isn't there anymore, but I figured, why wouldn't I just use a piece of washi tape to keep it closed? Like, $0.84 cents is a good deal for these. Plus, I only have two of them, so I really wanted another one. So I got this for $0.84, cents, and again, it's the 4x6 one, so not the 5x7 one. So I got that. Then on clearance, I found a Tim Holtz Distress Paint in Broken China. This was marked for $1.80 and they're originally $5 at my store. I've never had Tim Holtz Distress anything. Like I, haven't, I don't have the inks, I don't have the paints, I don't have the mists. So I'm really excited to give this a try and this blue is so pretty. I don't even know how to work this exactly, but that's okay. I guess we'll experiment with that later. So I got that. And then I found, this is open because of me, but I found this Project Life Becky Higgins journal. So I don't know if it's called journal, but there were journal inserts to go in it. I didn't buy them because I wanted to use it as an album because it's 6x8. So this was $15 originally. I got it for $5.39. So I'm just going to open it because I think this is the prettiest album I've ever seen. So it does not come with... Um, Page protectors and I could not find them for the life of me anywhere that were Project Life brand so I might have to get the paper studio ones when they're on sale and hope they fit or see if they'll fit so it's got this really pretty floral pattern and pink's not my favorite color but I love florals so that's what got me this and I think it's a cute size I don't know what I want to put in it yet I don't have any projects in mind at least so I guess we'll see this is so pretty so I got that for $5.39 so I bought four albums today, so a lot of albums to be filling. Next I got, I saw these in someone else's haul. They're called Mini Craft Sacks by Paper Studio. And um, I don't remember whose haul it was, but she got the gold ones. 
Maybe it was Amy's, I'm not sure. But anyway, I got these striped little pockets. These say they were made in 2013, isn't that funny? So these were $1.50 instead of $2.99. And I really like using tags for my journaling, so this would help me. So I thought this would help a lot on my pages. So I got blue, yellow, a teal blue, red, and black. So a really fun color scheme, kind of summery actually. So I got those, I couldn't resist not buying them. And then I found these. These are little birds and they're Studio Calico Wood Veneers. And they're originally $4, but I got them for $2.39, which isn't the best deal because I've gotten them for cheaper at Joann's when they were on clearance. But my mom loves birds and this will be really cute because we have lots of bird photos. So, because I like to um, take photos of like the special birds, like when we see Orioles in the yard or Cardinals or any of the really pretty birds. I like taking a lot of up close photos of them and I never print them because I don't really think I should be scrapbooking them, but maybe now I will print some. So I got these fun guys. They also had um, the alphabet ones on clearance for $2.39, but I told myself I could only get one. And I knew I wouldn't want to fuss with the alphabet ones ever because I think wood veneers are difficult to begin with because if they're too small, they're really hard to glue down, but I thought I'd give the birds a try. So this is my fourth pack ever of Studio Calico Wood Veneers and I've all bought, I purchased them all this year, which is kind of funny. And the last thing from Hobby Lobby are these the Paper Studio gemstones, but they're really just epoxy pieces. I saw this in somebody else's haul too. It was probably Amy's haul because she goes to Hobby Lobby. But um, these are in black, gray, and white. I don't know if you can see them that well either. But they were $1.20 and I just thought that I would never use these. I'll probably never use those, but I, I'll, I'll have to now. But I really thought these cameras were adorable and I love using geotags now because I really want to remember where we were when we took the photo or whatever. So I really have been liking geotags and then the cute chevron and then the cute little Polaroid. So these were $1.20 instead of $4. Again, by the Paper Studio. So only at Hobby Lobby. And now going back to Joann's because I forgot that it was on the bottom. One of my favorite deals was the Project Life stuff that was on clearance, like I've been saying. That's what I went for was to go look at the albums that were supposed to be on clearance, but mine didn't have any left. But they did have these Man's World themed cards. So it's 60 cards and I got them for a dollar. So I had to get them. This was the only, um, I don't know what kind of kit this is. Is this like a mini kit? I don't know if that's what it's called, but 97 cents. They also had like the box kits that are like this big for $4, I think, but it was only baby themed and I don't need those. But these are really cute cards, so I'll just um, show you real quick. So these are masculine themed cards, but really they're not that masculine. Um, we have some of these big journaling cards. Some of them are different on the back. So like this one says today on this one, but on the back it says current events. So I really like the flexibility because one side might be masculine and then the other is just plain. Right here, today was epic. I'll never use that. <laughs> so I really got it for more of the color scheme because I like blues and greens in my scrapbooking. But then again, there's also some really cute um, masculine things in here like um, Oh, maybe that's not it. I know it's in here. This little tie is really cute. Man versus blank. So man versus food is what I'd probably put, but some really cute just patterns for cards. Man of the hour, that'd be cute. His, some pretty blues, grays, and greens. And my favorite color is gray, and it's really hard to find any scrapbooking things in gray. Like that's the perfect shade. I'm actually, um planning on painting my room gray this summer, my bedroom, because right now it's teal, and I don't know why I ever thought teal would be a great color for a bedroom. So there's that, and then the last thing I purchased at Joann's and for this haul is these Project Life Becky Higgins um, envelope variety packs. So you only get three envelopes, I'll have to open these two afterwards, but they were only 97 cents, so it was a dollar. And these are originally probably eight dollars maybe, I don't know. but. We open it up. This is what I tested inside the We Are Memory Keepers albums to see if they fit, but I thought this would be really cute if you're doing a travel album and you don't want to put your tickets or things that may harm your photos in with your photos, like in the pockets with your photos, and this would just be really cute to have in the front or in the back full of memorabilia. So there's three different sizes. 
There's this like six by six one, six by 12, and then you can stick a little card with journaling here, and then you have the 12 by 12 one. So I picked up two packs of these. There were three, but I figured I only needed two packs of them. So again, this was from Joann's, and it was such a good deal, especially these um, binders. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Be sure to give it a like if you want more hauls, and be sure to comment below some video ideas for the rest of summer because I'm really excited to share with you so many projects I have coming up but I also need your help and I want to know what you guys are interested in so just let me know and I'm planning on doing a few non like craft videos but more like favorites videos so I'll tell you some of my favorite brands my favorite glues stuff like that so if you want to see that be sure to hit subscribe and stick around talk to you guys next time thanks for stopping by